and this is what he can do at his best. The wheels for Jaden Daniels as he strides his way past midfield all the way to the 40-yard line. Josh Williams comes in as the running back. He's more the pass protector. It's a bad snap. Daniels all the way back at the 19. Third and goal from the 19-yard line. Daniels extending the play, and then the pressure comes in from DeRoach. Kalen DeRoach with an outstanding play. Damian Ramos on to attempt his first college field goal. It comes from 36 yards out. And that's got to feel good for the red shirt freshman from Baltimore. Runs a lot of different looks, so it's going to be a feeling out process early. Travis spins, sprint right, back against the green and gets it complete. And that is the aforementioned Johnny Wilson. And boy, oh boy, if he gets going, watch out. 6'7", 235. Travis is going to keep. Catches a block on the outside, and Jordan Travis with the fleet feet makes up for the penalty and goes ahead for 23 yards before Garner finally chased him down. Meantime, it's third and ten. Travis, pressure came off the edge. He escapes it for the moment, floats it downfield, but it's incomplete beyond the grasp of Pokey Wilson. So in comes Ryan Fitzgerald, who's already two for two this young season. This a 47-yard attempt for Fitzgerald. Had a good season a year ago for the Knowles. And this is no good. LSU debut. Pressure off the edge. Spins three for a moment and then too much traffic as he just tries to get back to the line of scrimmage. Jamie Robinson was the first to get in there and then Dennis Briggs cleans things up for the Knowles. That's the coordinator for LSU looking down into that play card. And instead it is McDonald. Right in the middle of Matt House's defense, finding a pocket, and Travis hits him for the first down. At the 12. Reverse. Flea flicker opportunity. to one side, 335 to the other. Quick strike over the middle to midfield to Brian Thomas. So right at the 50-yard line is Thomas, a 16-yard reception. He's your guy. Get him on the move and avoid the double cover. Third down and 11 for Jaden Daniels. He looked to the inside, the booty, but comes up empty. So Ramos, who was a non-scholarship player last year, Alex Mastromano on to punt away. Malik Neighbors is going to call for the fair catch. A little bit of traffic and he loves it. And there's a mad scramble for the football. They're piling on down at the 16-yard line. Florida State got it. It looked like at least initially at the bottom of the pile. They were the first one on top. The sophomore receiver, punt returner, Malik Neighbors. Misplayed it, and the Knowles are pointing that way. And it is. Travis. Struggled to get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain there. Major Burns was active on the inside. They snap it. Fourth and two to the end zone. Easier to convince the guys to do things the right way when they finally started to see some results. Aiden Daniels on second and two. 
He's going to run ahead and get extra yardage for LSU. They have exhausted their timeouts, but the clock will stop with 56 seconds remaining here in this first half. Ability. You see these kind of results. As Daniels, as the final seconds countdown here, goes to Malik Neighbors. Neighbors, who had the issue fielding the punt moments ago, but Florida State went for it on fourth down and came up empty. But still, they just look different and feel different, this Florida State team. Trayshawn Ward are back out there for the Knowles. Travis is going to pull it and get it out quickly to the edge to Pokey Wilson, who had the 39-yard touchdown. Coming up off the turf to make that play. Second and 15. Travis against the grain and complete. And holding its ground is Wilson and then surging ahead inside the 20. But when you're a 6'7", 235-pound receiver, you can do that. Travis on third and goal. Pressure off the edge. Goes to the end zone. Incomplete. It was a good play defensively by Garner. That should have been picked up because they were only rushing four. Short field goal by Fitzgerald will make it 10 3 0. Third and long. Daniels, flag is down. Could be a holding there on the right tackle as he goes to Brian Thomas on what was third and ten. Empty look for Jordan Travis and the Knowles. Shallow cross and a first down. Micah Pittman playing that slot well. Third down and three. Is LSU coming or backing off? They're coming. And he launches it. Flag is down as Pokey Wilson comes up with that. This right here is what they're, they bring pressure. You're going to see on the right side, Ollie Gay, number 11. That's targeting, ladies and gentlemen. It's a launch, upward thrust to the header neck area of a defenseless player. Now what's interesting is there's no doubt about that. Three flags came in. Two were in the backfield because of the targeting that we just showed you. But one flag's at the three-yard line. Eric Bernard Commerce was a defensive back who had coverage on Pokey Wilson, who made an outstanding catch. Second and six. Daniels gets it complete and a little more from Lacey. And first down for the Tigers to the 34-yard line. And this time he goes to Neighbors, and now maybe that tempo gives them the rhythm they need. Another first down, third and goal. Straight ahead, diving for it. Looks like they're marking him short. You see the near side line judge on this Big 12 crew coming in and immediately marking it. Inches away, straight to the line. Here we go. Gotta have it. And he's in. With eight seconds to go in the third quarter. The long drive for the Tigers, Basil. Really impressive last night. First and 15, they did. Jordan Travis. Cross, body to Pittman, and it works out. Jordan Travis, yeah, he's been sacked a couple times, but for the most part, they've been rock solid. Giving him a chance like this inside the five-yard line as he goes to Marquiston Douglas, the 270-pound tight end. Now they're going to go high formation with what is the traditional fullback. And they give it to him! And he scores! DJ Lundy! The redshirt sophomore linebacker who had 11 tackles last year against Clemson comes up with a crucial touchdown here against LSU. Third and one. As Kane. Good hard run for LSU. First down Tigers. Back to the line. And met in the backfield as Goodwin couldn't get any traction. First was involved as was Robert Cooper and Deloach. And two. 
And he's going to throw for it on fourth and two, and he gets it. And that is Kayshawn Booty's first catch. The All-American receiver gets his first catch with five and a half minutes to play in the game. Here they go. Jenkins drives it in. 4.07 to play. And it's back to a possession game. Second and nine. Three minutes, 20 seconds to play. And around span. Can't find much. It's going to run clock. Four minute offense here. Ojalari again. And Major Burns getting to the ball carrier. It's a big one. 35. Jordan Travis. Backed up. Ojalari's tracking him. And he has to throw it away. So 2.25 to play. And LSU is going to try to find a little magic late here in Orleans. First three and out for Florida State tonight. LSU defense did their job when they had to do it. Fair catch is mucked again. Can you believe this? Malik Neighbors, second time tonight, and Florida State recovers. Brendan Gant on special teams gets the ball. Wow. Wow. He recovers the muck punt at the eight-yard line. Crazy right there, but if I'm LSU's defense right now, as you can see, Malik Neighbors, a guy they're so excited about. You can't advance by the way you cannot advance a muck punt. Oh, just the recovery. It's dead immediately. If I'm LSU's defense, I'm letting him score a touchdown right now. Let him score a touchdown. That way you get the ball back on offense with about two minutes and ten seconds. You can put a drive together, potentially have an onside kick, and get a chance to potentially heat one into the end zone. So if I'm LSU, I'm letting him score immediately. That is absolutely brutal. Trayshawn Ward wiggles his way to the four-yard line. It's one of those crazy things that always fumble. fumble here down to goal line. Is there a chance LSU has come up with it as Ward fumbled the ball? LSU says they have it. Why LSU does? The Tigers need a miracle there, and they just got one. That puts a dagger in the left score theory, but what is Florida State doing? Pitching the ball on the goal line, only bad can happen there. Worst case scenario, you get stopped. And next thing you know, they have to run another play. You burn more time, you force them to cause timeout. Instead, you pitch it. I mean, only bad things can happen there. You cannot pitch it on the goal line. You cannot do it. Florida State's first turnover of the night. Try to get a look at who got it down this pile. Just a crazy mistake there. Pitch was off the mark. As you can see number 92. It looked like Makai Wingo was the guy that was in the best position to recover it. And now LSU has a chance after the critical error. But it's going to take 99 yards. 99 yards away. Here's the slant to neighbors. Two timeouts remain for LSU. Valuable time. On 50 seconds. Daniels being pursued. Now he's going to run. Two timeouts remaining. He's going to get the first down, so that helps. That will stop as they move the chains. Man coverage. Looks like Florida State's going to drop. Try to cover underneath. Daniels searching for anything. And it's able to get it to Kayshawn Booty. And started at the one. Daniels again. Gets it quickly out. This isn't going to generate much. Oh, how about that? Toe tap by Brian Thomas down the sideline. Because that's obviously where else he's trying to get. Daniels. 28 seconds. Oh, he's sacked. They do have the one timeout. As is Jared First doing damage again. Jane Daniels. They drop eight against him. Three man rush. Taking a lot of time and now running with it. They don't have any timeouts. Has to get the first down. He does. Dives ahead inside the 30. Now you pocket. 
And they do. Foot four, Brian Thomas. You're looking in the direction of the six foot two, Dre Jenkins. Get it complete right at the stick to Brian Thomas. With the pass rush. Here we go. Clock ticking down. Daniels taking time. Remember, no timeouts. Here is the freshman inside the five. One second remains. Watch the clock as he just gets out right there. The runner was down in bounds for a first down. By rule, the clock will stop. LSU will have time for one play. Out there in the flat off a mesh or a pick. Let's decide it. Right here in New Orleans, Jaden Daniels. Send us to overtime. It's blocked! It is blocked! It is blocked! How great is this for Absolutely.